Hello and welcome to my channel where I simplify tech and in this video I'll show you how to improve the SEO of your web applications using some meta tags and head tags. SEO stands for search engine optimization and basically it's a way of improving your site's visibility to search engines like Google, Bing, Yahoo and the likes. These search engines regularly use things like crawlers to crawl through information across different websites and sort of determine what web page is useful for users search query. And with the meta tags I'll be showing you in this video, you can provide this information that helps search engines to rank your website better. And added to this, I'll be showing you some tags which you can use to improve the preview of your website links when shared on social media platforms. For example, this is a link that I added to a tweet, but with the meta tags that was provided for this web page, Twitter was able to have this create this nice preview with the image, the title, and the description. And on clicking the preview, you can see the referenced web page. So let's jump right into it. Now this is a basic HTML file. We have the HTML tag, the head tag, the body tag, and for this video, we're only interested with the head tag and the kind of tags we can put in the head tag. Now, for the most part of this video, we'll be using meta tags. And meta tag is a HTML tag used for specifying metadata about a web page. And the content of this tag is usually hidden from the viewport from the website display. But search engines use this metadata to understand the type of content that a web page holds. And let's see some of these tags and other helpful head, head tags for our website. And for stats, I'll be using the meta tag with the char set attribute. So the meta tag has different attributes like name, description, and char set, and so on. But this would be the first one. And the char set attribute specifies the type of character encoding that you want your browser to use to display the content of a web page. And UTF-8 is a very common and standard character encoding type and you find these almost in every website. But there are other encoding types like Arabic and probably Roman and the likes. But we'll be using UTF-8. The second meta tag we're going to use is a meta tag with the name of viewport. And the, the, the content is going to be width, device, width an initial scale of one. So what is the viewport meta tag? The viewport meta tag is used to optimize a website for mobile devices. And without, without specifying this tag, you'd usually find your websites overlapping the screen of mobile devices. So with this tag, when you say 100%, it's going to be within the width of a mobile device. And let's jump to the next head tag, which is the title tag. And the title tag, which is very common, as you may already know, is used to specify the title of your website. When you search for things on Google like this, you can see this is um, one of the search results. And this is the title of this web page. And when you click on it, you can also see that the browser uses the title of this web page to display at the top here of the toolbar. Next, we'll look at the description meta tag description and the content here as you know is a description of a particular web page or of your website generally and this is just like a summary of the kind of content that a web page holds so this is the description of this web page and also on Google when you search for things like that you can see this is a title and this is the description. So it also helps Google to understand your web page such that when users search for particular search queries, Google can correctly pick your website and show it in the search results page. The next tag we'll look at is the link tag, but it's going to be a canonical link. And what the canonical link does is that it helps you to inform search engines that there are or there may be multiple versions of this web page in other domains in other websites but this is the main page and the search engine shouldn't index other web pages so i'm going to show you an example here in a minute but let's just say the canonical link for this one is websites.com 
so I just loaded these two web pages this is my website with this article how to build a Gatsby source plugin and this is an article I also have on my hash node profile but it's the same content now with the canonical link I can tell search engines that this is the original article and the search engines can index this and show this on search result but this one is just a duplicate but not the original so that's the relevance of the canonical link and it's useful if you have or you may have the same content across many websites and the next method tag would look at is the keywords method tag and think of these as something like tags for your articles just like when you write articles and you have the javascript tag or the react tag or whatever tag it may be the keywords method tag is used for specifying different keywords that are you know tied to your website so your title helps search engines to understand the content of your web page the description also helps search engines understand the content of your web page and with you can also specify specific keywords that also help search engines understand the content of your web page so you can have these and you can have front end and you can have as many as you want and next we have the robots meta tag robots and what the robots meta tag does is that it tells search engine to either index or not index your page and it also informs search engines if they should follow the links on your web page or if they shouldn't follow so for example if you are working on a particular web page like maybe a 404 page you wouldn't want a search engine to index that page because it's irrelevant so in such cases you can have the robot tag and with the content of um, no index and no follow so what this means is on this web page i don't want search engine to index it and i don't want search engine to also follow the links that were specified on that page but for other page that you would want to be ranked correctly to Put your website on such results page then you want to have index and you also want to have follow now these are the basic meta tags that you can use to improve the SEO of your application the title the description the canonical link keywords and the robots but moving further I'm going to show you tags that you can use to improve how the links to your web page are shown on social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, um, WhatsApp, and all of that. And the first one I'll be showing you is the open graph meta tags, which are GOG meta tags. Now, the open graph protocol is a tag that is used to improve how social links appear on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Google, and few other platforms. And for Twitter, there are Twitter tags which we would see later on. Now let us look at some of the basic OG tags. The first OG tag that would look, so we use the property attributes and we specify OG. So it's usually OG, a colon, and then the type of OG property that we want to use. So first let's look at the OG type. And the OG type specifies the type of content that is in a web page. And this can be a video, it can be a song, it can be a book. But if we're writing an article, we can also specify this to be an article. I'm going to duplicate this. And then the next OG property that we can use is the title. And similar to the title of your website, we're going to have title of my website here. So on platforms like LinkedIn and Google, when we search for a specific link to this web page, it's going to show this title. And the next one, as you may already guess, is OG description. And this is going to be description of my website. The next one we can also specify, I'll duplicate this again, is the OG image. And this is going to be a link to um, some random image that you want to display. So just like we saw on Twitter, we can use this to probably specify a cover image for our website so when our link is shared on maybe facebook we would have that image showing now you would also want to make your images creative and also attractive such that users would be you know attracted to them and they would want to click through to see what your web page holds 
and another image property is the URL and this is also a canonical um, link so you just have website.com and it also helps the the open graph to know that this is the original source of this content you can also refer to the open graph protocol website here for more meta tags there is a lot but the ones i've listed here are the basic this is for platforms like facebook linkedin but now let's look at twitter so twitter has their own tags for their own platform and for twitter tags i'm going to copy this so for twitter tags we're going to look at some of them and we're going to start with the this is going to be twitter title and we have title of my website using this to illustrate this means this title here which is bold and similar to a header and as you would also guess there is also twitter description and we have description of my website and twitter also has another property called site twitter site and the twitter site is used to specify the twitter username of the website on twitter so let's say i'm creating my portfolio now i can specify to my twitter account so this website um, has a twitter profile which is my profile on twitter and i'm going to specify this here and twitter also has twitter creator property and the difference between the creator and the site property is the site is for the site itself but the creator is for the author of the particular content on that web page so let's say you are creating a publication for example where different authors can write for the creator you would want to use the author of that article as the twitter username and then we have the image we have the image property <coughs> And for this, you would also specify a link to an image. If this is an article, you can specify the link to the article cover. Now, for images, Twitter also has an extra tag, which is called the Twitter card property. Now, this Twitter card property specifies how your link will be previewed. And there are different types of Twitter cards. There is a summary which just shows everything like a summary and there is the summary large image for this one here this is the summary large image because you can see the image here is large and then we have the summary which includes the title and the description and you can read more about twitter cards here there are so many properties there are so many things you can specify to give your links a nice preview on twitter and there are many more tags you can use to improve the seo of your website as well as creating nice previews on social media platforms but this is a non-exhaustive list of the basic meta tags that you can look at and please refer to the documentation of the meta tags the og tags and the twitter tags which i'll also leave in the video description and if you found this helpful kindly subscribe to my channel share and like this video also check out my gatsby video where i share how to dynamically change the content of these tags for different parts of your application